Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on how to create timed quests so the player has to reach a checkpoint before the timer runs out. We're going to start off with the rules button up the top and we're going to set a quest up. So click the add quest and we'll call this uh, quest one. In the description we'll say reach the end before the timer runs out. We'll make that um, auto unlock so it begins straight away. It will auto launch. Now the type of quest we want is a timer quest. We'll say um, 10 seconds for the example. For this one, we want to set this to defend. We'll come back to this in a moment. We're going to close this now and we're going to bring out an asset. So this asset here is what we're going to be defending. So we'll say defend one as the name of the asset. We'll go ahead and give it a health component and that will be all. We'll go back to the rules and we'll go ahead and select the asset as defend one. When it completes, it will send a message. Uh, we need to put that message as defeat. Awesome. We'll go ahead and press tab. So as you can see, the quest will auto launch. There is our defend asset. We can't hit it unless we probably charge. And even then we still can't hit it. But once the timer runs out, nothing happens. All right, so what we need to do is even though we have the defeat message, we need to set another asset down and give it the defeat component. Now, when it receives a message defeat, you should be able to get game over. So we'll go ahead and test that out. The quest will pop up. Actually, let's go ahead and change the timer to five seconds. So these tests are quicker. So the quest will pop up. We have five seconds to reach our destination. Otherwise we get game over. Okay. So how do we go ahead and have a destination? So let's just say we'll put some different blocks down. We'll put down a asset and we'll give it a speaker component. We want it to detect entity and that would be the avatar. So when an avatar walks in this range, it will send a message. We can get rid of the text above. We'll click the edit logic button and we'll say uh, kill.defend.one. So when the avatar walks in this circle, it will send a message kill.defend.one and this asset over here that we're supposed to be defending, we can go and drag it over here, press F to zoom into it. Uh, that's our defeat, sorry. So we'll keep our defeat over there. It must be this one here. Go ahead and edit the logic. The message to kill it will be kill.defend.one and we'll make the delay minus two we don't want to see its health um, and you can hide that underground somewhere, but we'll keep it at the back here. So what we've essentially done is when we walk into this range, we'll wait for the quest to begin. It will send a message to kill the defend asset. So we've hit our checkpoint. It's killed the defend asset and the timer has stopped. If we don't reach that checkpoint in time, we will simply get a game over. So we'll test that out and there you go. So then you can send uh, different checkpoints to start. So if we have another checkpoint over here, this one here, the message is kill.defend.one. So we can go to rules, add a quest. Uh, instead of um, quest one, we can put quest two. We can have it auto unlock, but we don't want it to auto launch. We want it to wait for a message. And that message will be the kill.defend.one. Uh, and then again, then again, you can have a timer, 30 seconds, whatever the case may be. So what it looks like now is when a quest begins, we can go ahead and reach the timer in time. Bam, it kills what we're supposed to defend. It's unlocked a new quest. And then quest two begins and then you can set another 
asset spawner here, oh sorry, a speaker here. So when it detects the avatar, it will kill off another thing that you're supposed to defend. Um, and you can chain your quests that way. So you can go ahead and duplicate this, control D, drag it over here. We can go ahead and change that message to kill dot defend, sorry, spelling dot two. So when the avatar walks in this circle, it will send the message kill defend two. We'll go ahead and duplicate this one, control D. This is our defend. We'll change the message here to kill dot defend dot two. Um, and we'll change the name of this one here to defend two. So now when we go to our rules, we can change that to quest two. And instead of the uh, survive, we'll have defend, and then we'll go ahead and select our defend two. And we can have 30 seconds for this one. So now when we press tab, our quest one begins. We'll go ahead and reach our checkpoint. Excellent. And now our quest two begins. And as you can see, the timer begins. And then once we reach, it kills off that defend and the quest completes. And you can keep going. You can do quest three, quest four, quest five. Um, the only thing you need to be aware of here for quest two is the message at the end needs to be defeat. So if the player's timer has run out, uh, it will complete the quest, but send the message defeat. So that's the trick there to get checkpoints and timers for your game. Uh, if you have any questions, please send me a message on Discord. More than happy to help. Have a great day.